What I'm curious is that you're going to go into this 2311 competition meeting later this afternoon as the owner, and you're going to discuss, you know, pit road troubles, right? And, and Tyler said, stupid mistakes on pit road, same shit, different year. And we've been having this pit road discussion for years now, back to when JGR was supplying 2311 mm -hmm. pit crews. I feel like that's a pretty damning quote in a way. Same shit, different year. Yeah. Like you're, you're this, it's trying to be a different, you know, you're trying to new, shit, mm -hmm. <laughs> not the same year. Yeah. It's, this is the new team blues. And this is why it, it, as smart as Justin is, he just bought a team that already had good pit crews. I, 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 you know, when I had to start this damn thing from scratch, I had nobody. And so anybody that's really, really good, they're under long contracts. These, these teams lock these guys up for years and years. And so you got nobody. And so, you gotta you gotta find talent within the field somewhere that's got experience, or you try to get some young guys that are very inexperienced. And this is just part of starting a team and trying to do this on your own. Um, it's I certainly feel like, generally speaking, yes, this is a topic this weekend, and and it's the hot topic for sure, and it will be here in a few hours. Um, but it's a process, and it sucks i know it sucks it's keeping the 2311 guys out of victory lane no question about it there was at least two to three victories that, that tyler should have had last year that he didn't get an opportunity to because we messed up for him on pit road and this is one where do i give him the race win if ever if if he has kyle larson's pit crew it's going to be a hell of a race I, I'm not saying that he's just going to beat Kyle because that's going to be a tough feat. I think that Kyle had a better short run car than him, generally speaking. But it would have been a hell of a battle, and Kyle would have had his hands full most of the day versus just kind of cruising out to a two second lead and you know watching us in the rear view. So, he, um, I don't know. It's it's this is this is the painful part about it. Um, pit crews have become become such a big part of the result. Um, and a lot of it is, you know, certainly pickers can take you out more than they're going to help you. Right. And what we hope to, to do is increase our speed in the off season, increase our, uh, reliability of non blow up stops. So that stops worse than, you know, 13 seconds or so. Um, it's a process. I mean, this is the first weekend where the pit crews really were under a microscope because, the other ones where we are running super speedways, it's fuel only, two tires, if anything. The pickers really didn't have time to shine yet. This this was, you know, we'll get some some numbers back here shortly about where do the pit crews st stack up. Let's try not to overreact too much in one event. But certainly there was issues on the 23. I didn't really see what they had a nut or something that got stuck. Um, the 45 had... Um, it seemed like multiple issues. Uh, you know, I've got, you know, everybody's coming to me saying, what, what, fix this, fix, fix that at, right after the race. And I got Lee Spencer asking me, you know, what, what do you feel about the bubble? I'm like, Lee, I just got out of the car. I, if it's not 11 related, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. So, um, it just, you know, this is part of the, the grind of the, the new team blues, <laughs> And, um, and even in our fourth year, now our second year of having our own pit crews, it is just not, not easy. This thing is not easy. And, and trust me, if, if we could go out and just grab the best pit crew, then you just can't, it's not that easy. And I feel like we've got a good set of guys there and we have, this isn't the same teams that we've had last year either there was new guys brought in on each the 23 and the 45 from last year so um we also have a, a partnership with legacy uh they'll be training out of our new facility as well our pit our pit facility itself where we will do pit stops that's not even going to be done till probably july so we're still at jgr right now and when we're at jgr we get limited time we don't get as much time as is others because we're not we're not the house guys right so we're having to share facilities and so 
you know, we're building our own and it's going to be absolutely freaking amazing. Just like the, the actual airspeed is and headquarters, but it takes time. And, and so for the next six months, we're just going to got to grind this out until we can get some more reps on our own at our own spot. Is that area connected to airspeed? Is it all? In the yeah, same it'll property? be in the back. It'll be as you're driving up 77 North, it'll be the kind of the first thing you'll see. Yeah. So right before the building there. Got it. Um, speaking. I have, uh, hold on, I got a question. Go what can you do in season though? I, I don't know. I mean, this is, trust me. I was this two years ago. I was, just every single week having issues, I'd get to the front, boom, we'd have a bad pit stop and I'd go to sixth or whatever it might be. Um, they just work it out. I mean, that's why you got pit crew coaches, strength coaches, all that stuff to figure out what happened, um, what triggered it, and then what caused the train to get off the tracks. And then you try to fix it. Could you ever see pit crew members being like actual athletes where you could trade them and you could upgrade positions or whatever? Um, I haven't thought of it like that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you probably could. Yeah. More than likely. Um, you know, there's, there's a few very key positions in a pit crew. Um, there, there's two that really, you know, can make or break and that's your jack man and your tire changers. Uh, the carriers are important. I'm not downsiding the, the carriers, but it's just, it's not as a crucial position to, how fast your pit stop is is what your jack man and your changers yeah. are yeah i'd actually like to see i feel like we're getting a little better at that with tv interviewing pit crews and whatnot but you know getting to know these guys more because now they're such an integral part of the race and i feel like at the end of the day if like, your favorite driver doesn't finish well it's like oh well his pit crew didn't do well like well who's the pit crew you know like we don't actually know mm -hmm. anything about the pit crew or like where they what makes from a or, good yeah, yeah exactly yeah I, I actually like that fox interviewed one of the you one know of your guys one of our guys at, <laughs> yeah um, aj um so that was really cool and uh i do i definitely think that the pit crew guys you know deserve more notoriety for sure um and and listen i've i have faith in the guys that we have at 2311 this was a bad week i'm not going to understate that whatsoever um but let's let's not it's easy to be it's easy to overreact and and one given weekend. Um, let's just see how this thing plays out in the long run. Um, speaking of Bubba, and more so from like a, a big picture standpoint, is that when you have a car uh, like his that has issues on pit road and can't get uh, a lug nut off or whatever it may be, and then is running the race laps down, how, like, what can he add to your um, meeting today, your, you know, your, your debrief today about the race, considering he may have been. That you know the car may have been irrelevant for the majority of the day. It, it was relevant. He he had his car was up to speed. So when, as long as it didn't have you know the lug nut issue, right? His car was still up to speed, had no damage. So he was able. To, he's going to give feedback on you know how does his car handle because he needs to give that. That's a crucial information that he gives to his team so they can work on the setup for that track next time around. So uh, it, we we'll we'll listen to as much feedback from Bubba as Tyler. It, it doesn't matter really. Their finishing position is what can you give the team information-wise for them to work on to be better. Right. So it doesn't matter if you're on the lead lap or, or 10 nope. down. No. Nope. I thought it was I thought it was pretty cool. I was actually in third place when I guess he came out and was on fresher tires, so he was helped pushing uh, Tyler Reddick towards the lead, towards Larson. They were catching him pretty quick too. Yeah. Um, that, was, that was actually pretty – Pretty damn cool to see, but um, I know Bubba has you know, certainly is frustrated because he felt like uh, he probably had a at least a top five, top ten car as well. Yeah, especially coming off back to back top fives. I guess good news for everybody else that Freddie will now cut his hair. He was not cutting his hair. Oh, because really? He, yeah, he was superstitious. Huh. Well, I, I think he could, should do whatever he can to keep his face covered up. <laughs> so let it grow. Yeah, it needs to let it grow.